Yeah, that's amazing, eh? Amazing. Let's t- let's just talk about one of your prop. I'm not too sure if this is one of your recent ones. And uh, for those who are listening, Dave and I we kind of connected in the the launch of this um, rise from rise of the Dota book. Um, give us a little bit of background, but I know you sort of touched on earlier that you and Alisi sort of this was it this time last year. Yeah. Just give us a bit of a, um, a rundown or a story on how this all started. Yeah. So. I'm always looking for topics that I know our kids will want to read about. I MMT love that. is a no brainer. I love that, man. Yeah. So I know, M- man, MMT, you know, for just, just being a teacher in Notara, <coughs> excuse me, I saw, I saw over the last two, three years that the MMT players were starting to be more popular than All Blacks. Yep. For, especially for Tongan kids. Yep. You know? And man, what a phenomenon, eh? And thought, man, somebody has to capture this in a book because kids will read this. So, at the same time, Alisi was also having those thoughts. Mm-hmm. You know, we didn't know, know each other, um, but she was also having thoughts that she wanted to create a book about, because she was involved in, from 2017, maybe earlier, but she was involved in all the, uh, the behind the scenes stuff. You know, and she was the MC, you know, mm-hmm. at the games and all that. So she was right there in the middle of this phenomenon, you know, and she also wanted to, she thought, man, this would be awesome as a book. So I think I, I, I'm not sure how I knew about Alisi. I think maybe Facebook, I probably saw she's a teacher. Mm-hmm. I thought, and then I might have saw her credits come up, you know, on, on, on before a game, mm. like MC Alisi Tatapu or something mm-hmm. like that. I thought, hey, man, I've got to get in touch with Alisi about this book. And then so I, I contacted her at MC, and then we had a meeting over at MC, went to go visit her. Not meeting, went to go visit her, have a talk. Mm-hmm. And then my, my idea was I was going to write it and that she would just give me the contacts and, you know, get the permission and all that. Mm-hmm. But then her idea was why don't we write it together, which wow. was like, you know, the, you know, when I think of it now, bro, I, I just think, man, you know, this, this, book, this book needed to be written by a Tongan, mm-hmm. you know, and with a Palangi supporting. And so... We set about putting it together, and we worked on it through um, COVID, through the, through the lockdown, the okay. first one. We worked on it through there, and then Alisi told me that her cousin Sika Manu is an illustrator oh, wow. as well. So we thought, ah, oh, that's awesome. Let's um, let's ask Sika if he can do the illustrations for mm-hmm. it. So we got funding. We were able to pay him as well, and so we got we got him to illustrate, which adds so much more mana, you know, to the book, eh? Because he was the uh, captain and he did exactly what Jason and Andrew did a little bit earlier without as much um, fanfare you know that mm. he actually did that same thing of um, withdrawing from Kiwis to play for Tonga so it was just awesome that he 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 was uh, to be able to be part of it as well 